So, hello and welcome. This is a video demonstrating how to cement a zirconia crown. Okay, so first of all, talking about the particular case uh, with, with this gentleman, you'll notice that the gingival margin um, of the uh, of the crown we're going to place on the upper right one is is quite high and if this patient had quite a high lip line that would be uh, pretty obvious but luckily it's quite low and in during the consenting process the patient has been made aware of that and is happy to um, proceed forward at the moment the tooth's got a um, looks a temp uh, temporary crown material on it and during the numbing process, I'm just getting the, uh, the, the zirconia crown out and just checking the, uh, the shade just to see if it's okay. So here I'm going to uh, remove the, uh, the, the temporary crown and there's quite a lot of blood there. Luckily in this case I didn't have to remove um, much temporary uh, cement from the uh, temporary crown. So here I am placing the crown on the tooth and, and what I'm looking for is I am looking for obviously the colour, the shape, the fit. In this case I, um, I've edited the video but I did ask the patient to bite down and I have checked um, the occlusion is all fine in all planes. So we've removed the crown and now I'm controversially going to place rubber dam on. Not a lot of people do this, and, and do I do it for every crown? Pro probably not, but, but in this case, I feel like um, just because of the, uh, you know, the, the blood and the saliva, and also the crown needed isolation. So I'm, I'm gonna use a little tip. Um, I'm gonna show you a little tip when placing a, a rubber dam, and I'm gonna use a PTFE or Teflon tape. Um, and and the, 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 the benefits of this will become apparent later on in, in the video. And essentially I'm gonna use it like a retraction cord all the way around the, the rubber dam. Little bit different in this case because usually what we do is we, um, we uh, manage to tuck the rubber dam into the Teflon tape or the PTFE and it gets like a nice sort of margin. But because the margin was so high in this case, um, I've had to manually use my finger to move the rubber dam out of the way. So we've etched and, and now we're about to bond. And I believe the bond I'm using is, is, uh, is, is I bond. And I'm cementing the crown here with Real IX uh, resin cement. And now I am just tack curing the resin cement because I don't want it to, to, to set completely, but I just want it to harden enough so I can scrape any of the excess away. have been super super careful here because the last thing I want is for me to nip the gingiva and make it bleed because that's going to affect the bond surface. So we move to the back and again removing the excess and um, I believe this cement is dual cured so by, by this time it's probably set completely and this is the point where you see why I use uh, PTFE or Teflon tape around the gingival margin because now I'm going to pull this away and what this does is, is it, it doesn't stick to the cement so you can sort of protect the margin and also because it doesn't stick you can pull it away nice and easy so if you were to use retraction cord of course that would get into all the little nooks and crannies in the cord and then you won't be able to pull it away easily and this kind of cleans up the margin not completely because you're still need, going to need to um, sort of clean up the interproximal areas and you will have to floss but it, but it helps um, quite a lot. I, I'm not too sure where I got that from, I don't know if I made it up myself or I've seen it on Instagram or whatever but um, I, I feel like it's, it's, it, 
you know, it works really, really well, especially with rubber dam, especially if the, the ginger ale margin is too far up, you can kind of tuck it in and it kind of tucks the, um, the, uh, the rubber dam into the sulcus more than it usually would if you were to floss it down. So we are pulling away the rubber dam and again, flossing the, uh, the contacts. I like this guy. Cool, so, it's at this point I give the, uh, the 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 patient the mirror to have a little look, and quite rightly he he, he says that he's happy with the colour, and he's happy with the fit, but actually the distal corner on this crown um, makes makes the makes the tooth look too long and unnatural. And here what I've done is I've just taken it down a little bit with um, a, a diamond burr. Now I'm using a. Um, a, uh, a white stone just to um, adjust the margins again being, being super careful not to nip the ginger and I'm, and I'm not I'm not really um, trying to take any of the margin away I just I just want to get rid of the, the excess and don't forget as well when you um, when you use a, a diamond drill on a, um, a zirconia crown or a, or a, or a lithium disilicate this, this is going to need to be polished or it will excessively wear its opposing um, counterpart. And I'm just moving the last little bit of um, excess cement there. So overall, you know, it, I, I feel like it's a, it's a really nice result. The patient was super, super happy with it. You know, the, the gingival margin is high, but you know, when he smiles, it's not really noticeable. And that's it. Thank you for watching as ever. If you like this content, please subscribe and like and comment anything you'd like to ask in the, the, the box below. Have a nice day. Toodaloo.